So today's video is going to be a very basic sort of how-to eyebrow routine or eyebrow tutorial video and I watch a lot of these videos on YouTube but I'm kind of yet to see one that is just very basic stuff using all drugstore products, all products that are accessible to everyone really and that are really affordable and just steps that aren't overly complicated and like sort of there just to pad out the video. So this is very sort of stripped back, it is my everyday eyebrow routine, one that I've been using for a very long time and the products I have also been using for a long time so I thought this might help some of you guys out at home, just a really sort of basic video that just states, I don't know, really simply like a way to fill in your eyebrows I suppose. So I'm going to cut straight to the video now and show you how I fill in my eyebrows for every day. I've just realised that I haven't cleaned any of my brushes or my products or anything so be prepared for that. But the first step is just to take one of these eyebrow brushes and mine's from Real Techniques and I just brush out my eyebrows so they're all in the right place and so there's no hair sort of sticking out all over the place because I find it easier to follow your natural shape if everything is brushed together nicely. The first product that I use is a wax and I use it on this really small angled brush. This is just one that comes with the sleek eyebrow kit that I use but it is angled and I find that easier to control. It gives a more precise line that sort of makes the under body of your eyebrow look a lot more crisp because obviously the brush is very straight so you've got a precise application but I just take some of the wax with that and then what I do is just underline the bottom of my eyebrow. So I usually start from sort of the arch area and I very lightly just make a sort of small mark like that and then from there I can do down the arch and I can do right to the front of my eyebrow. So I just follow the natural shape. As it gets to more of the inside of my eyebrow, like the front of my eyebrow, I sort of feather it out a little bit. So it's not a really dramatic line, it just sort of gets lighter as it goes in towards the eyebrow. I pick up a little bit more and then as we get towards the arch and down on the tail of the brow I make the thing, make the line a little bit darker. And I usually end the tail with the end of my last eyebrow hair ends but if your sort of eyebrows are a little bit shorter and not as sort of thick then you can just extend the tail a little bit to the end of your eye, so where your sort of eye ends is where your eyebrow should end. I find this eyebrow to be a little bit harder to do just because the shape isn't as defined. Well the shape is sort of more defined which makes it a little bit harder because I prefer this eye, but this eyebrow is sort of more shaped so I've just got to work for a little bit longer with this one and sort of adjust the shape in a little bit, but it is just the same concept. The underside of your eyebrow should be the most defined as well so rather than drawing in the top and the bottom if you just draw in the bottom with sort of like a cream product or a wax product it'll look more defined and crisp and then the top you can sort of feather out a little bit more. So once I've got that done I go straight in with a powder and fill them in. You can of course use an eyebrow pencil if you want or you can use a powder or a cream or whatever filling in product you use but personally I just find a powder to be quicker not as sort of harsh as a pencil or something like that would be it's a bit more natural so I'm going to be using the Revlon matte eyeshadow in the shade Rich Sable and this is a green based eyeshadow so if you've got darker hair like I have or if you've got more I don't know more darker hair I suppose or even if you've got blonder hair I would suggest going for a green based eyeshadow one that's more of a taupey colour rather than a sort of reddy brown colour just because it will look a lot more natural and suit your hair a little bit better but if you've got more of like a red toned hair and you've got red hair or whatever then I'd go for more of a sort of crimson colour or like more of a reddy based brown eyeshadow to fill in your eyebrows so just do whatever you know suits your hair colour the best I suppose. Using a angled eyeshadow brush for this, this isn't an eyebrow brush it is just an eyeshadow brush but again it you know you can get more precision with the brush so I just dip that in and then tap off the excess so I haven't like got a huge lump of powder that is going to just explode all of my eyebrows and then again I start sort of towards the top of the arch and just very lightly sort of feather this out working to the front of the eyebrow. As we get to the front here instead of sort of going across like that I angle my brush so the brush is facing up and I just sort of brush this in towards 
the centre of my face. And for the arch, I just do the same thing. Um, I try to focus this on the top of the arch so that becomes more defined. Then I just go in with a cotton bud and just sort of go towards the tail and just sort of touch up where the powder might have come out of the eyebrow a little bit. That is the difference once I have the powder so I'm going to go ahead now and do the same thing on the other eyebrow. Again just taking a little bit more time because this one is the troublesome eyebrow. So that is both of them filled in and they're not meant to be twins, eyebrows aren't twins, this is one of my favourite quotes, eyebrows aren't twins, they're sisters, so while they should look similar and they should be equal and stuff like that, they shouldn't be exactly symmetrical, they should look, not should, but you know, it's not a bad thing if they look slightly different like mine do, but this is, I've been working on these for a little while now and this is the best I can get them and I think they look perfectly fine. I like them, I really like my eyebrows, so if you don't like them then just do yours differently, but I like them, so the last step that I do is set it with a brow gel. Now this is optional, but it's one that I've been using for about five or six months now, and I know that I'm never going to stop using an eyebrow gel, it's just changed my life. So this is the Maybelline Brow Drama Eye Gel, and you can get a non-tinted one if you don't want to add more colour, but personally I like the way that it looks, well, you know, it's a bit tinted, so... I just run this very lightly over the eyebrows just to sort of set them in place throughout the day and to make sure that, you know, my eyebrow hairs don't move around on my face as the day goes by. And when it gets to the front, I just sort of brush these hairs up very, very lightly because I don't want like a huge blob of brow gel at the front of my eyebrow, but I still want them to sort of set in place. So I just brush them up ever so slightly. And that is the finished look. That is how I fill in my eyebrows for a daily basis and just a sort of basic way that you guys can fill in your eyebrows at home if you're looking for like new products or a new way to sort of try out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful and let me know what you think in a comment down below and I'll speak to you guys in my next video.